Buen día. It's a Sunday morning here with Profe Nader. I've had students in the past ask, why don't you do a YouTube video on showing how to make mate? So I'm here and going to show you how to prepare uh, a mate, the traditional way, the Argentine way. First of all, I have a, a, bom, a mate. This is a mate cup from Paraguay. You don't need to have one like this. You can literally use just a coffee cup or any kind of container to put your mate in. You do need a bombilla though. And a bombilla is what you sieve the juice from the mate with. And this is something that you're gonna probably have to order online at, uh, through Amazon. They're not too expensive. The kind I prefer is the kind that is shaped like this, like a spoon, because it's easier to put into your mate and also to clean up afterwards. Of course, you're gonna need some yerba mate. This is a Cruz de Malta. This is just a brand that's imported from Argentina. Where do you get it? You can get it at a lot of Mexican stores. Uh, a lot of Mexican stores carry yerba mate. You can also order it online through Amazon. I would avoid buying some of the more expensive brands um, through things like, through some of the health food stores because they mark up the price and you can get a lot more uh, cheaper somewhere else. One of the things that uh, I told my students about is the actual stevia leaves. This is, an, this is an example of stevia. These are stevia leaves. And I brought this back from the, my last trip in, uh, to Argentina. And this is actually where we get the stevia powder. And Profe likes to use the new stevia, which is uh, a little sweeter than sugar, but it doesn't have... Um, it's not, uh, it's a lot better for you. It actually is from a plant, uh, which you see here. So it is, it is better for you than sugar. So let's get started. I've got my yerba mate in this little container that I use. And first thing is how much do we put into our mate cup? You want to fill it up about three fourths of the way. So we've got it filled up about three fourths of the way. The next step is something that's optional, you don't have to do, but it involves taking your mate cup, turn it upside down, shaking a little bit. And what happens here is you get some of the dry powder on your palm of your hand, and that's something you try to avoid uh, drinking. But I'm gonna show you a little trick that uh, many people use to kind of minimize that so you don't really have to do that step. We're gonna take our mate and move it to the side like that. And we're going to add our sweetener. In this case, the new stevia. Now mate can be drank without a sweetener or with a sweetener. Today I'm going to use uh, the, the new stevia sweetener. And I take the bombilla and I put it down into my mate to the side like that. Next, what I do is I take just some regular water and I'm going to pour it down the where I've got my bombilla. And what this step does is it starts to, your mate begins to expand a little bit. And this expansion uh, allows to, so that the bombilla doesn't clog when you go to drink it. Then after that, I'll take my thermos with the hot water and I'll pour it again down the side where my bombilla is. And in a traditional mate drink, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the bombilla and I'm going to actually move it a little bit like this. It brings the yerba mate up and allows the hot water to get underneath. And really in a traditional yerba mate, you're gonna have the dry leaves on top and the hot water underneath. 
And as far as how warm you want your mate, that's just a, a taste. But you don't want to have boiled water and uh, put that into the mate because it actually ends up hurting some of the uh, mate leaves. It actually diminishes some of the minerals and vitamins that you get from mate. And then you drink it. That's how Profe starts his morning. So remember, Genova Mate is good, it's bueno, it's good for you. Hasta luego. Que si te ve